abuse relationships. Be a humble man. That's why this age is poor. We don't know how to how to manage the most important wealth, people wealth. Pride can destroy it. Haughtiness can destroy. Ingratitude can destroy relationships. I've driven cars I didn't buy. Not because of anointing, anointing. Just knowing how to work with people. I've gotten things I didn't need to pay for by just learning how to work with people. The greatest skill you can learn is called social skills. Let me even shock you. It's not even financial skills. Because finances flow within people. The other day, sorry, I, I, I didn't go out my car, so I wanted to, I just went to the building, church building site, you know, I just throwed. So I, it was getting close late in the night, I wanted to go home, and I'll stop the keke. Sometimes I like walking, you know, for exercise purpose. So I just got a tricycle. The moment I got this tricycle, and I was about to enter, one person passed, who knows me, and was greeting me, I stopped, greeted, collected the person's number, we, you know, exchanged pleasantries, and then... The person left. While I was about to enter, another person passed and saw me. Pastor, I stopped again. Greeted. The came and was patient. When I finished, I entered. He said, good evening, sir. I said, good evening. How are you? He said, said where am I taking you to, sir? I said, I'm heading towards so and so place. He said, okay, sir. I said, please, how much is it? He said, it's only 400, sir. I said, let me pay 250. He said, mm, okay, no problem, sir. Hope it's not so far. I said, it's not far. We took off. While we were going, I saw oka, corn, somewhere, roasted corn. I said, please stop, let me buy corn. I got down, I was buying corn. The corn lady took me more than 15 minutes before she gave my corn. Because she was trying to roast and do that. And I saw the cake man, patient. Didn't talk. Was looking. Quiet. I finished, collected the oka. Entered. I said, thank you, sir. He said, are you true, sir, now? I said, yes, I'm true. Let's go. We left. Why were you going? He said, sir, you're sure you don't need any other thing before you reach home? I said, no, I don't need any other thing. I'm fine, thank you. I'm all right. We drove, he stopped me at my gate. I said, I'm stopping here. He stopped me at my gate. Turned and packed well, because it was drizzling a little. Packed well in front of my gate. I came down, brought out 1,000 and gave him. He opened the pigeon hole to count the change of 250. The guy didn't even tell me, okay, your money don't increase, so you know, say you waste my time and all that. He didn't do anything like that. To count the exact, my heart left for the guy. I told him, that is your dash. Take and go. He says, the whole 1,000, I said, carry and go. I'm the one dashing you. Thank you. I said, there's something about you I see I love. It's your humility and your values. As a Kekel driver, somebody you carry can buy you one free. If you have the right attitude. Why you have a flat tire and you can't move anywhere is because of your attitude. Attitude is flat tire. That's why what hurts me is wrong attitude. It's not that a person killed somebody that is the issue for me. So a person did the worst sin is attitude. Like ingra- ingratitude. Pride. These are the things that destroys relationships. Not knowing how to serve these relationships. The Bible says give. It shall be given unto you. Give good character. Give good attitude. It shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Shall men. God is your source of provision. But men are his channels of distribution. If you hear me, shall I hear you, sir? God is your source of provision. But men are his channels of distribution. (laughs) You don't have a cordial relationship with men. You're not building a healthy peaceful relationship with men, you're going to be broke, you're going to be poor, and you're going to be blaming the devil for problems that he's not creating for you. For instance, I go for seminars, I go for programs, I go for trainings. The speaker who is speaking, finished speaking, I go and look at him where he is. Thank you, sir. I don't know how I would have known these things if you didn't say them. Thank you. Can I buy you a plate of rice, sir? I do it. In Lagos, in Abuja, around the world, anywhere I travel. I must find that speaker. Thank you. Most times I will put hand in my pocket. 
you bring money, put in the envelope, and thank the man well. And as I do that, I find out I multiply in knowledge. Don't just have a consumption and Jimmy, 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 Jimmy mentality. Give me, give me. You're always on the receiving end. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. You're always on the receiving end. They must give you money. They must give you recharge card. They must give you compliment. Everything is you, you. When will you start being a giver? Parasites. Be thankful for the little things people do for you. Be grateful for your pastor's presence in your life. Don't betray your pastor. People who do it don't go far. Don't betray one another. The man you are standing here now and he's talking could recommend you to a president tomorrow. Maybe because you see him in this part of the world. Look at people like Pastor Bishop David Oedebo. People who had the privilege of knowing that man 30 years ago, 20 years ago, and they abused it and regretting it now. When you walk through a door, don't slam it. 